Yeah, we'll just, I'll just line them up in a minute. Yeah, we'll just, I'll just line them up in a minute. Um, skulls or, or yeah. um, well, it depends. Uh, if, if, if you're saying forward, I would say uh, Michael Owen. Okay. He's got a real good understanding mm -hmm. and just clipped straight away. Mm -hmm. and he had a good, good partnership. Um, great finisher. Unbelievable finisher. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I would say probably Skulls and Stephen Joe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And so we're just driving for us from the field. Skulls quiet. We, you got to remember we had Beckham at the time, so Beckham was who mm hard. -hmm. Yeah, Beckham, Mo, everything. Anything he done turned to gold. But action, playing wise, Skulls was better. Best player I played against. Uh, what did it have to be Ronaldo? Do uh, uh, you mean the strongest defender kind? Yeah. Okay. Uh, He's bigger than me. Uh, but yeah, we had some tough battles. Really tough. But that's something you always want to want to put yourself up against the best. Now I felt I always. He would say he got better than me, but I would say I got better than me. Uh, best player would be Ronaldo. I played against Ronaldo, so he's they got two best players in the world. He's Messi and Ronaldo. I played against Ronaldo. I'm playing against Messi. You Mind you, I played against. Oh, you said Premier League, didn't you? Yeah. Did you play against Dennis Bergkamp? Yeah. When you got when, when you got Ronaldo, I, I, it's hard to put them two. To, I, he was great, unbelievable player. Um, he played. I, I actually played in a game at Leicester. He scored the best hat trick for me in the Premier League ever. Uh, I actually closed him down for one of the goals, and I you close him down. You think, oh, you block all the angles. He's bent it around, and I think he's going in the stand. He ended up hitting the actual uh, top down. Ridiculous, he had double rubble come over his head. He's flicked it up, flicked it back over the defender's head and finished it. Simple to be honest with you, uh, everyone has an opinion. Um, their opinion is not necessarily right. I mean, I was privileged enough to be in a position where I was the one doing the work. You could talk about doing the work, but actually physically doing it, no one else was doing it. Um, to get to the heights that I got to can't be bad. That makes sense. There's no, there's no bad player at the, at, the, at the heights that you're at. So, you so mentally, you've got to get yourself in a, uh, in a, in a place where you're going to get criticism. You've got, you got uh, Messi fans calling Ronaldo crap. But Ronaldo fans calling Messi crap. Two of the best players in, the, in history. I wouldn't say in the world, I'd say history because the goals that they're scoring and all that is just. They're scoring more goals than whole, whole teams are scoring. Um, so if they're getting criticised, why, why are you immune to criticism? No one's immune to criticism, but you got to know that your worth and your self-worth and how you how you want to play, how, where you, where, what you bring to a team. Now, I brought a lot to a team. I brought a lot to other people. Uh, and I was happy with that. Uh, within a team sport, you, you'll, under, you'll all understand this. Within a team sport, you bring something, and it helps you bring something, and it helps you fit in a, in a way where you feel comfortable. Um, not everyone can be a role, not everyone can be a missing, but you still have your, you still have your role, you still have your position. Um, if you take your position out, if you take you out of that, the team won't be. Able. Team won't function the same. So I knew what my position was, and I knew what my role was. People. Criticising their, their opinion, you can criticise from there and be. What, what are you doing to to help me get to where I want to get to? What have you done that's better than me? But yet you can sit there and criticise. Mentally, you just got to get yourself in a position that you're going to get criticised. Whatever you do, you can walk down the road and someone's going to criticise you for walking on that side and not that side. You just got to deal with it. You can get, you're going to get criticised throughout the whole of your life. It doesn't matter whether it's in football. Whether it's in cricket, whether it's in your schoolwork, yeah. but you got to mentally get yourself in a position where you you still gonna, you're still going to perform at your best level and know that that's your best. And I win a lot of trophies. <laughs> <laughs> I was very good in the year. Very yeah. good in the year. Um, Is that why you played off Owen so well? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the game for us was. One counter attacking football, <clears throat> but two as well. Um, me holding the ball up and me kicking it on yeah. for Michael to go and finish. And it worked. It worked for a long time as well. 
I've got one just before we finish. We were me and Owen were talking on the way up about your battles with Sol Campbell and we we're on the side of you. We think you got the better of him, but the boys were sort of asking who you look at now and who you think in world football is similar to the game that you had. Just so they've got an understanding from the sort of player you was, because me and Owen were trying to explain to them. Now? Yeah, who would you say? Some of all, I think... Costa? Diego Costa. Uh, Lukaku, but I was better. I, 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 my back to goal was a lot better. Much better, yeah. Um, and my movement was a lot better. Mm. Football now, you won't see forward movement. Uh, he'll tell you um, the, the amount of movement you have to make, and Matt will tell you as well. You have to be on the movement, or you have to be on the move all the time. So you'd have to, if you wanted the ball to feet, you'd have to run away, come back, and to get the ball. If you wanted the ball over, you have to do a dummy. If you wanted the, if you wanted the ball down the side, you have to bend you. So you have to do that every day, day in day out. Nowadays, it's just standing. I'm going to wait for them to pass the ball to you. Back then you had more and more movement uh, and you had to do, do it that way. And as well, you, if, you, if you didn't get a hold of the ball, your defenders would be after you. <laughs> you they would be after you. you would, you'd, half the time you come off crying. Yeah, I've experienced Yeah, that. I've experienced So that. now it's, it's not as, it's not as uh, fiery, it can't be, to be honest, because we get, we get abused. Yeah. Um, but, so I made sure my game was top. So when the ball came to me, I made sure I had to get a hold of it. I remember going <coughs> with um, with the national team. I think I was at the beginning at the time. So I went with the national team for the and uh, the manager. I played. Uh, I think it was Russia. I played Russia and uh, Israel. I think it was. I think it was Russia the first game. He came to me and said, uh, Neil. The one of the coaches came to me and said, Neil, you your your success rate of getting hold of the ball was 98 percent. I went okay. But that was normal. I, I didn't need him to tell me. I, I made yeah. sure I had to get a hold of that ball. You get screamed at. Well, oh. being a so my my game. It's difficult to actually pinpoint one player that I would say in world football or, or football now that because it, it's totally changed. Um, and as well, you have to play several different positions. You, can't, you couldn't just go up front and just be uh, like a yeah, target man. You have to change it. Like something else. You'd have to play down the side, you'd have to play on the wing, you'd have to do this, stuff. I'd have to play number 10 sometimes. So my, my game was all round suited for different reasons. If you always remember that, no league is a good pathway now. The amount of, you'll probably go through this as well, the amount of scouts and managers from the league and even the Premier League looking into non league now for players is, is, is through the roof. You know, people are actually starting to see that there is there is um, gems. Uh, mm -hmm. You could know, definitely, definitely, definitely pick up a gem because uh, as well the fees are different. That's it. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> not, everyone, not everyone can pay. Uh, uh, what, what did Barney from non-league was one point something million? Yeah. At youth level, you get coached, um, and you get coached a certain way. So you, when, when you get the ball, you receive it. Like this, and you just go like this and pass it. Whereas, whereas if you were going from non-league and play local football, you receive the ball, you've got to drive up, so you can take your non-league skill. Now, people will look at it and say, well, that's not, okay, that's interesting, that one, that, what was, why is he doing that? Okay, let's have a look at him in the next game. They'll mm -hmm. look at you in a few, three or four games, and they'll say, okay, then I like what he does there. It's not coached. It's not, uh, how can I say, it's off the cuff. It's, you know, you're just playing, you're just playing with your mind there in your mind. Uh, whereas a lot of things now is all coached. I think in non-league as well, the, I think one of the benefits you have played in non-league is the fact that at a young age you have the opportunity to play open age. Yeah. And that grows you up quick, I tell you. When you're playing against ex-pros and you know fully grown guys and you're 18 years of age, you, you gain a whole other level of experience. Yeah, you, you, gain, you become tougher, um, mentally tougher. And I think managers actually like that. So if you can play a bit and you can handle yourself a bit, uh, handling yourself, I think managers will look on and think, you know what, uh, I'll give a shot at you, I'll give him a shot. Don't you Definitely. think like football right now is totally more of a like, As in like what sense? So, like, as you said, the yeah. kind of non-league and person driving that, how they teach you that, they teach that out and 
So it, it is, not, but the thing is, you got to remember that they put a lot of time into into these academies and money, so they want something specific. Yeah. But then they, uh, no, I, I prefer a bit of both because I need I need when you're going forward, I need someone to be able to take people on. We used to have to do that. We used to have to do that. Uh, he was he was he played alongside me. A few stones lighter when he was playing. <laughs> 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 yeah, we used to play together and. We used to play against, it's funny, we used to play against the first team and beat them up. <laughs> and, but the, we used to play a lot of things off the cuff because we played street football. Um, and and it, it slowly started to come in now that we wanted to play a certain way and we've got to get the ball here, we've got to pass it there. We've got to get it there, we've got to pass it there. And you, before, you even got it, before you even got the ball, you, you've already thought, oh yeah, I need to pass it there. Whereas you might be able to get it and drive and take someone on and do something. But you've already, you've already been taught to do it. X, Y, and Z. Um, but you need a bit of both. I, t I think that's, I do think you need a bit of both. But then it needs to be your mind uh, figuring out when to do that and when to do this.